Good morning everyone. It's 7.30 in the morning. Heading out to take a walk. People are having breakfast now. Quiet morning. A lot of stray dogs. Banana trees. Kids heading to school. I wonder where this path leads to. It led to a private farmland, so it just came out. And this must be the floating market. One of the things that I wanted to see here was the floating market, but unfortunately, it only opens on weekend. I didn't do my research, so it's my fault. <laughs> Gonna chill a bit at Pun Thai Coffee. Got myself a hot Americano. Here they separate the water with the espresso. I think they want you to mix it depending on your preference. <laughs> now off to have my breakfast. The weather today isn't that hot. I think it's gonna rain so it's very cloudy. But still it's a little humid. So as you can see, I'm sweating all over. <laughs> I think Thai people don't really feel the heat here because I see a lot of people wear wearing sweaters at this weather. And it's crazy because they're not even sweating. Found a restaurant in front of the river. So I got the specialty, the dry noodle with spicy salad and Thai tea with tamarind juice. I think there are a lot of coconut farms because in the building that you see at the front, it's piled with coconuts. I heard that this is a very famous restaurant but it's slow season at the moment so you don't see many people plus it's very early in the morning Got my ta Thai tea with tamarind juice, looks good It's a bit sweet and sour It's like something like a lime juice but better especially in this weather I think if you really want to go to a quiet place with a lot of nature and a very localized place not very touristy this place is a good place to visit the only downfall is that everything closes really early so at night there's not much to do but other than that it's really it's really nice got my spicy salad and they provide a complimentary soup. The food is not that big. It's just the size of my hand. I think the portions are not that big here, but the prices are really cheap, so can't complain. <laughs> It's a bit of everything. A little sour, a little sweet, a little spicy. But I think it's just right for me. Got some Thai desserts. Looks good. These are flower shaped rice cake? Cake? Something like that. Let's give it a try. It's really squishy, like a jelly. Mm. Very chewy. And it has a coconut scent. Really good, really good. My Thai. Let's try another one. 
this time the purple one, purple flower. They all have different features, but taste wise, they taste the same. There are a lot of dead snakes on the street. I think they were killed by cars, <laughs> road kills. So, when you walk here on the street, you'll see a lot of stray dogs. You'll, you'll also see chickens and ducks and some mo water monitors. Haven't seen, haven't seen a live snake yet, but yeah, there are definitely are a lot of dead snakes here. I'm gonna get some Thai ice creams. This is called a Choco Crush. Never tried it before, so let's give it a try. It looks like a chocolate ice cream from the outside. Mm. Strawberry ice cream with chocolate coating. It's really good. Mm. More choc more chocolate under. Wow, look how huge that thing is. It's like an alligator. Do you see that? Wow. Let's try to get closer. Ah, it's gone. On my way to check out. Just checked out, got myself a tuk-tuk. man was driving like a race car driver. <laughs> the tuk-tuk service is actually more expensive than grab but it's quite difficult to get a grab here so you have no choice but to take a tuk-tuk. Gonna look for a minivan that goes to Ayutthaya. I was planning to go to Hua Hin at first but I think it's too late and it's too far from the airport since I'm leaving soon. So just gonna go to Ayutthaya if there's a van if not maybe i'll go to bangkok we'll see so they don't have a direct van to ayutthaya so i'm gonna take a van to bangkok and we'll see from there I'm just switched to another van and now i'm on my way to ayutthaya we have arrived at ayutthaya we just got down I haven't booked a place to stay yet, so I'm gonna look for a place to stay first. Thankfully, there's no sun. It's drizzling a bit, so it's very cooling. It's good for pedestrians like me to walk around. I found a good place with a good review around this alley. Hopefully, they have a room today. Got a room at this lovely place for 750 baht, which was cheaper than a gold uh, trip.com and all so cute hello 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 so cute so cute hello hi so beautiful just got in my room it's a big room i have a big bed what else a tv ac Okay, they're selling ramen and all, but it's cheap. It's cheap. Okay, and the toilet, wow, it's super clean. And big as well. This part is, the owner gave me a box of watermelon. Wow, so cute, right? Mm. Really sweet. And one more thing. It's breakfast inclusive for only 750 baht. That's like a catch, isn't it? It's raining a lot today. I guess I'll have to wait a bit longer. Just in case you guys are wondering, this is the place that I'm staying right now. TNN home.
Are you tired? The rain doesn't seem like it's gonna stop, so I had to make a move. Borrowed an umbrella and on my way to visit the night market and the palaces outside. So here's a brief history lesson. Ayutthaya was once Thailand's capital during Thailand's golden age, but it was burnt down when the Burmese attacked. So now there's not much left to see. And I heard that the Thai government is trying to rebuild the city, just like the ancient times. So we're gonna go take a look at the city as well, the palace and all. A lot of bars, a lot of massage parlors. The owner told me there's a night market happening today, but I think it's closed. Maybe because of the rain or I don't know, low season. But it's alright, there are a lot of restaurants open at the moment, so I'm just gonna go check them out. I got myself a bread from 7 Eleven as an appetizer. Mm. This pandan bread is good. Wow, that's one of the palaces that I was talking about. Let's get closer. Hello. It doesn't look that great on camera, but if you see it in real life, even from this distance, it looks magnificent. It's raining again, so I'm just gonna have my dinner first, and then we'll see how it goes. Pat krapao po neng. Krapao neng. Eight Thai Thai. Pat neng. Um. Stir fried swamp cabbage. No. Uh, uh, spicy chai. Looks good. A lot of meat. It seems to be raining more and more. I think I'd have to come back tomorrow for the palace. I'm just gonna spend some time at the cafe before heading home. The cafe is closed, so I'm gonna find somewhere else to chill. Poor thing, hiding from the rain. My shoes are soaked. The next time I visit Thailand during monsoon season, it's only going to be Bangkok. No, no more other cities. When the rain starts pouring, there's nothing much you can do really. Usually in Malaysia, when it rains, it stops after one or two hours. Just like magic, it always stops within two hours. But, and, and I thought Thailand would be the same, but it just keeps on pouring, it never stops, especially today. Maybe I should just get a massage before heading home. The massage parlor was full so I had to wait but right now I'm soaked and all so maybe I'll go back tomorrow. Today I'll just go back home and take a rest. Annyeong. Hello, annyeong. Hello. Hello. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Just got back. The rain was crazy. Tomorrow morning, I'm planning to head back to the palace to look around. But if it still rains in the morning tomorrow, I think I'll just pack up and. Um, go to Bangkok because tomorrow would be my last, last night here and I wouldn't want to waste too much time just waiting for the rain to stop so yeah 
that's my plan for tomorrow. Not much happened today, but still, thank you for watching, guys, and have a good night.